Uh, we have uh, Coach Fadu Davis. Uh, I hope you have started picking some of Swahili terminologies. <laughs> Karim San. Santi Sana. <laughs> now, uh, to start this beautiful conversation with our fellow media, uh, we just, know, we just want to know how far have you reached in team preparation ahead of this uh, career code, Abi? I think uh, today we will have our first session with all the players back from international. So, Mokwala arrived yesterday late afternoon while we had our session already. Of course, we take the protocol very seriously in relation to 48 hours of recovery. So, um, Kibu, Salim and uh, our captain, Mohamed Hussein. Uh, only did a second day of a light training session yesterday, part of the recovery process, uh, which we respect the national team and expect them to do the same after we play a match. Uh, so today will be our final session, we will have everybody back and our preparations will be complete after our final session. Thank you coach, na tuna karibisha maswali, na karibisha maswali kwa kia mwalimu, na kama nivose mawali, kama unaswali basi sogea hapa, what type of opponent are you going to face in terms of the coach approach? Uh, young guy have not won the league three years in a row if they weren't a good side. They are, they are a side that they've been together for three years now. Um, they have won the league three times, so although we respect them, we have analysed them in detail. We know exactly how they're going to approach the game. We have analysed all their matches uh, so far. Um, gone to a deep, uh, uh, thorough um, preparation plan in how we're going to approach the match. And uh, form, history, everything goes out the window when it comes to a big game like this. It's a derby, uh, it's uh, the best team that will win on the day and uh, we have to stick to our, our plan, we have to stick to our strategy, we have to stick to how we want to approach the match, although it's going to be a tough match, we respect them as a team, uh, but we have to put our chest out and uh, put our dominance on the match because we are a big club as well, we are also a sports club and although we're only 15 weeks into our, our project, there's so much more potential to come out of our squad and uh, we build every day to realize that potential. I think it's part of the process because uh, Younger had uh, internationals away as well, so both teams faced a similar type of uh, situation. Uh, it's your preparation, it's your pre-season, it's how you bowled and how you put the principles in. There are always some slight tweaks in, in relation to, you, to your game plan. Do you want to attack on the left more? Do you want to overload the right? Do you uh, want to play through the centre? How Where are you going to press uh, the opponent? Where are you going to drop the line or push the line up, uh, line of confrontation uh, in terms of a defensive aspect? But these are the details that you do as a coach in every match. You don't have your players, but these days with technology, with uh, putting in these principles before, it's easy to say, uh, to give these uh, internationals that were away, to um, put them up to date in what you've been doing for the last two weeks. So it's quite easy um, to give them the information and uh, the game plan, the tactical plan, the, the approach will be on the pitch. And once the whistle blows, the 90 minutes starts and we'll be ready. Coach, um, you get a very good start to your tenure as a Simba coach. Um, does that give you the sense that this is a league that you can win? Going into tomorrow's game, do you get the sense that this is a game that I need to win if I'm going to win the league title? Yeah, it's, a, it's an important match because uh, both teams are, are vying for that top spot and of course you always talk about these matches being like six-pointers. So uh, 
it's a match that will, will be significant in terms of the league race, but it won't decide the league race. There are still so many matches left after this, but we know how important this match is. Uh, not only because uh, of the past, or let's say last season, the immediate past, uh, us dropping six points, um, but we know the significance uh, of this match and what, how, will it will, how it will impact. But of course, it's just another match of 90 minutes and we can't put overemphasis on the match in relation to uh, our players because a lot of them are new to this derby. A lot of them uh, don't know really what to expect, although they face them in the Community Shield. This is uh, the one that counts. This is the one that, uh, with the league title, will have a significant impact. But we approach the match as normal, we will be hyped up, we will be ready. And uh, uh, once the 90 minutes start, uh, that's when you'll see the, the dynamics of the match. Yeah, so I'll tell you about South Africa. I'll tell you about South Africa. I'll tell you about Tanzania. I'll tell you about coverage when you have a chance to be a career coach. So I'll tell you about the Caribbean. I'll tell you about the Caribbean Tanzania. Uh, coach Nyanga uh, always play a uh, high pressing game. Uh, prior to that, uh, they are yet to consider a goal in a league. How uh, are you prepared to handle uh, that situation facing a team uh, that is uh, so well uh, in terms of uh, tactical approach? Now, if you look at the uh the match we faced them in the community shield, they were not high pressing. Uh, they sat back against us. So uh, Sometimes as a coach you probably plan to high press and uh, maybe the opponent's structure is, doesn't give you the possibility to high press. And, uh, and probably that's the reason why they did not press us high in the last match we played. Uh, this is a different match, it's a different approach. They have studied us more, they've only seen the Simba day match before that. Now they've probably gone into details into how we're going to approach the match, but you know these stats, these uh, numbers of uh, us having a good start, them having a good start, like I said, it's a derby. It's a match where all of these stats uh, fall out of the window. It's a match uh, we approach that when the whistle starts, it's who's more ready, who's willing to go the extra mile, which team is brave enough to, to play their football and not be cagey. And I definitely don't think we are the team that uh, in terms of our dynamic, in terms of our profile, we're not the team that is going to sit back and, and, and say, OK, let's uh, defend in a low block. No, uh, that is not us, that is not our style. Uh, we have to realise as well, younger is at the, the peak probably of uh, their squad building. You know, they are really, uh, how they've built this thing over three years, they're probably at the peak and you know when you're at the top of the summit, there's only one step after that. Uh, we are still building and there's so much potential uh, uh, to still uh, fire up within our squad. And a match like this uh, really will give certain players the platform to, to, to bold their profile, to, to reach their potential. Uh, you can do it in, in other league matches and other matches of magnitude, like uh, the Alakli Tripoli match that we face probably. But these are the matches that will bold our squad, where the, um, they will be able to perform at a normal level and some players will be able to rise above their uh, their, their normal level of play. So we expect a, a, a quite intense match, uh, whether they sit back, whether they, they press us high, we'll be prepared for it. And uh, um, stats of, of defence or attack uh, falls out the window and uh, it's just how we approach the match on the day. Asante Swalila Tano, Karibu. My name is Ethan Masanja from Coach, your side has lost the three previous derbies. Does this create fear or pressure for foreign tomorrow's match? No, I think uh, I think I've answered that question before. That uh, history does not uh, play a part in in the match when you, we start the match because. Uh, if you can say our team is affected by that, we've got uh, uh, a whole new squad. If you take the starting lineup of of the the last seasons, we've got a whole new squad this season. We've got Shaba Kapombe, uh, that is seasoned uh, professionals. Yasin, that has been playing uh, as well uh, from the last season. Uh, the rest of the players are, are are new, are new to the derby, as not affected by the the past, of course. 
it's our job as a technical team to to uh, educate them in, into what's been happening in the recent years uh, or what's been happening in the previous derbies. Uh, but like I said, it does not play a significant role. We have a new team, we have a new squad, we have a, a, a dynamic squad and once the, the, the whistle starts, 